Good afternoon, everybody out there watching today's live field, and welcome to unusually sunny Manchester. I'm here with Skateboard England Chair Lucy Adams. Hello. Hello, Lucy. And I am Ben Powell, formerly editor of uh, National Skateboard Magazine Sidewalk, and we're here to talk you through the live feed of today's Skateboard England UK National Skateboarding Championships at Greystone Action Sports Skate Park in yes, Salford. Yes, we're here. Yes, we are. We're here today. This is the first national championships of skateboarding since 2013. Indeed. And we're going to kick things off today with the Women's Park event. Mm -hmm. So we got, uh, who we got set up for this one then, Lucy? We have, we've got Rebecca, Amy Davies, Amy Brady, a lot of Amy's actually in this yes, first uh, group. So many Amy's. Amy Ram, Helena Long, and of course Sky Brown. Yes. So yeah, we've got a, a huge variety of riders in this one. We've got Helena that particularly prefers the street category. We've got Sky Brown, ten-year-old skater, um, just been announced as, as a one of the UK Aspiration Fund, UK Sport-funded skateboarders. Yeah, she's a big grin on her face all day. I think she's really enjoying. Uh, the weekend. Well, she's, there you go. Right on cue. I couldn't have asked for better. She's going to love this. This is, uh, yeah, she loves this bowl. And we're going to see some big moves from her. But we've also got a local, quite local to the to the park, Rebecca Amy Davies. Um, she's been skateboarding for years now. And also Amy Brady, I think from Liverpool, hails from Liverpool, so not far away. Other side of the M62. Yeah, it's good to see there's a there's a lot of people here from all different parts of the UK. We've got people from as far away as Cornwall mm -hmm. and from as near as Salford. Yeah. So, you know, good to see there's a crowd. See, there you go, there's a change in landscape of skateboard. A lot of parents there. There were so many families here today watching all these competitors battle it out to be the UK champion. Indeed. I mean, that's, Lucy, I guess, a consequence of the evolution of the cultural landscape of skateboarding that we have facilities like Greystones that attract families. It's a little bit different from when we were younger, which oh, absolutely. in my case is quite a long time, <laughs> a, lot, a lot longer ago than you. I mean, yeah, we, we've come from skateboarding in car parks and out on the streets in the front garden to yeah the facilities like this purpose built massive wooden skate park you know that's what nurtures talent that's you know the skateboarding has as its essence a do it you know do it yourself ethos but for the younger kids growing up with these kind of facilities is going to produce talent i guess that we've not seen before really absolutely i mean they the the leagues ahead of us out there in the uh, oh here States. we go yes this is amy brady it's not, so, it's Rebecca Amy Davies, sorry. So many Amys, it's confusing. This is Rebecca Amy Davies flying around that bowl. As Lucy said, fairly local to the park, so, you know, localises it, as we say in skateboarding, to a fair degree. She's obviously fairly comfortable with the transitions, keeping her speed. Absolutely, and Amy, Rebecca actually helps out here on the girls nights ah. developing and pushing the scene oh did we just see some sort of that was a miller flip miller i think flip. yeah that was sick this is a really strong opening run this is a great run you see she stayed on and, and that's what you need to do in these type of competitions we don't want to see people falling off their boards we want to see them just yeah oh. that, that was fantastic that was a real way to see props from uh, helen along there so you know, that we couldn't have asked for a better opening run, really. Yeah, she's, she's hyped. Stoked. Yeah, she is, as she should be. Used the whole bowl, used all the corners. As Lucy was saying, the one-hit wonder's no use in this kind of competition. You've got to use everything available. Try and hit all all the corners, keep your speed. There's Amy talking to another Amy. So many <laughs> Amys, we're probably going to get confused again. <laughs> I can only apologise in advance. So we're waiting for our score to come in, but, I mean, that was, like Ben said, that was a strong run. Yeah. A lot of different tricks, not backwards and forwards, she didn't mini ramp it. So the format for this competition, we will see these skateboarders do two runs and both of those runs will count. Um, they'll go in order, so after Rebecca, we'll see Amy Brady next, Amy Ram, then Helen along, then Sky Brown, and then we'll go back to the top. Mm -hmm. So in some ways it's 
people are tactical sometimes they have like they'll take it easy on their first run and then on the second one when they know they got some points they'll go nuts but i mean that standard was set pretty high like no one's going to drop in and chill now yeah. after that opener everybody's going to want to put a solid first run down they're going to want to just stay on do the tricks they can do and then maybe in their second run think about trying something a little bit harder if anyone's wondering that's brett from the skateboarding show he's actually recording something that he's not just standing in the way on purpose with the stick he does a like a podcast show covers a lot of events he's a good dude there's sky looking slightly nervous sky yeah well as we said you know this is going to be no pushover for anyone that was a strong opening run yeah airs lip tricks even a miller flip you know sure okay so i guess the judges are just totting up their scores there's mark churchill with the uh, orange beanie with the microphone in his hand doing our job but customer facing <laughs> i suppose you could say yeah he's keeping the crowd hyped he's letting them know what's going down getting them to really give the applause that these riders deserve i mean that's the thing with skateboarding it's very much uh, atmosphere based yeah. You know, everyone out there, yeah, there's a competition aspect, but oh, here we go. We've got Amy Brady in the bowl. Again, hitting all the corners, going for speed. She is flying. As we would say colloquial, colloquially, she is tanning it around that bowl. Oh, oh. going for the half cab rock. She's still got plenty of time, though. Loads of time. And actually, Amy did fall yesterday, and she's hurt her knee, so... Ah, yeah, I saw her upstairs yeah. icing it. I wonder. So she's, she's struggling, a, a, a struggling a bit, so... She's got the added bonus of uh, not having to listen to any of the uh, the ambient noise because she's obviously got her own soundtrack going on there. Yeah, it does look like she's struggling a little bit yeah. more than usual. So what, did she twist her knee or something? Or Yeah, I think she suffers with the knee. This is her final few seconds. She's trying to get that blunt pull oh, in. Oh, beautiful. That was excellent. Good way to end it there. Yeah, I hope that was before the buzzer. Nice work, Amy. Well... That's good. She's got a trick in the bag there. She did a few bits in the deep end. We certainly saw her flying around at the start. Yeah, I mean, she's clearly she's clearly used to skating bowls. And yeah, ending it on a blunt pulling like that, that was good. Yeah. It's always better for your, you know, your self-respect or like, you've, just makes you feel better for your second run if you can end it with something rather than taking a tumble and then not managing to get back to, uh, that's it. back on point. Oh, that's where we saw her just slip out of that 50-50. That's the classic though, isn't it? All the easy stuff that you can generally do every time when people are watching and the pressure's on, that's when you slam dropping in. Oh, oh those nerves, yeah, for sure. She did well there. So, as you'll notice, that everyone's still around, everyone's watching. We got another, yet another Amy yeah. up next. Amy so, number two. This is Amy Ram. From London. Absolutely. She likes She's to skate transition as well, so she... She regularly skates a uh, skate park under the Westway in London. True. Which has a bowl slightly bigger than this, so we'll see. And yeah. also the, the bowl, the Selfridges bowl. Well, she's actually living in Barcelona now, Ben. Ah, right, so she's not skating bowl at all. So, in fact, all that information that I just gave to you, the lovely BBC audience, is possibly six months out of date. I will chastise myself severely for that. Yeah, I Later mean, on. <laughs> oh, there we are. Oh, now we've seen ourselves. Hi, peeps. Hello. Here we are. Okay. Let's go back to it. Right. And there we are. Back to run number three of Female Bowl. That's a white dungarees in a skate park. That's asking for, for dirt. I mean, some people just don't fall off, Ben. No, that's true. That's true. But most of us yeah. slide about the, the on our The mortals bums. amongst us. Amy has got a lot of lip tricks in her trick bag. She's uh, yeah. she's known for that. Solid start. She may oh. skate the ball slightly differently to everyone else because she like, in order to hit the lip, she's going to have to pump less and go slightly, not slower, but less emphasis on carving and more emphasis on tricks, I think. Go around it, switch, switch there. Carve. So this is backwards for everybody at home that's not sure about skateboarding. Ah, she switched it up, gone back ah. into forwards. So I left, everyone has a natural stance, obviously, when you go and switch, you're riding against your natural stance. There we go, as we said, yes. the lip trick repertoire's opening up, the old tail stall Reeves. 
Fitting in the tricks though, Ben. That's it. That's an, uh, getting the points in. Oh, oh. toe control let her down there. On the backside disaster. Just after time, maybe. But that was solid. Yeah, that was a good good run. Lots of tricks in there. Yeah, and a switch carve. Always good points for that. We like to see that. Mixing it up. So once again, to have a look at some of the highlights of that run. A feeble stall. It's going for that back D, and you can see yes. on her front foot, she was trying to toe control it back in, but she just leant too far. Too it's like far. she over-rotated a bit yeah. there, didn't she? I think maybe she might have been going for the back disaster to sugarcane stall, but like messed up the she back She favours that one, yeah, absolutely. So next up, it's not an Amy, which gives us a break from saying the word oh Amy. Oh my God, it's Helena Love. So Helena, again, hails from London, has been a face on the scene for a long, long time. Yeah. She's more known, I would say, Lucy, for skating street, but she's an all-rounder. She can skate everything. That's she's also it, yeah. a talented drummer. She's in a band. She's, she's, a, she's a good person, is Helena. We like her. She absolutely loves skateboarding. She's down for skateboarding. I spent weeks with Helena recently on lots of different skate trips and tours and... She's just been a, a positive person to be around. Oh, and there just we go. We've got Amy Rams. Oh, That's a good score. 275 points. Uh -huh. It's looking good. Uh -huh. So, uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to see. I just saw Helena, actually, before we came and sat in the bunker. And she said, oh, I can't feel my legs. So let's see what happens. Not the best... Uh, physical position to be in when you're about to skate a comp see so look powerful Absolutely. straight in the deep end no messing about no setting up straight in with the tricks that's it oh got oh, smith to lift that smith just came off we've got 30 seconds though she's got plenty of time she's already done a few tricks she's a bit of a wild card with the old transition because she's got a lot of tricks helena even though it's not what she's known for and they're quirky see oh, look, we've not seen anyone pits. go up there but oh, she just didn't have her foot on right back for the rolling no nah, she's uh she's kind of skating it like a street skater would skate it, like hitting yeah. the platform off as a smith stall do you know what ben she's had a case of falling off and then not being able to get those That's legs it. back it's can't nerves. get the composure back yeah. like she said i can't feel my legs not a good position to be in yeah absolutely sometimes that adrenaline helps you but sometimes mm. it just gets the better of you and and you can't get it back so let's hope we can see an improvement from helena in the second run but she's chilling she's enjoying it the thing is with skateboarding that it's a lot of it is mental like obviously there's there's a strong physical skill aspect to it but if your mind's slightly off like we said before, the easiest thing can become impossible. Absolutely. You start focusing in on something that you do every single time and you start making that mm. an actual battle when it's... She had serious toe bock on the back oh. foot there, didn't she? <laughs> Almost her entire foot was hanging off. And, and that, then, I mean, that's a trick Helena does every time. Every time. That's just a simple Smith stall. She's... <laughs> but look at her. She's, she's all right. She's chilling be interesting to see what kind of score Helena gets there so give us an idea of mm -hmm. maybe what the judges are looking at yeah because she started strong in the deep straight in with a backside Smith yeah on the in the deep end and then strangely struggled with the shallow end but then sure. if you used to go and fast and charge him perhaps it's it can sometimes throw you off balance when you, you have mm -hmm. to slow down a bit and yeah and also you know this is a wooden bowl mm. it can be quite slippy with that urethane wheel Ah, next rider's going to be Sky Brown. She's positive. She's looking mm -hmm. pretty keen. She's uh, She's got a lot of skill on transitions, uh, as we've seen so far over the weekend and just in general, Lucy. She's very confident on her Absolutely. in a bowl. Best trick last night. We had a best trick in the bowl competition and uh, dropped in. First go, 540. 540 oh. degree spin, easy. Damn. And then we got Helena Long getting a 212 for run number one. That's not too bad. She was hyped there, I think. Mm -hmm. She was like, oh, okay. Didn't feel like I did anything, but <laughs> evidently she did. So she did the frontside 540 first try yesterday. She did. Yeah. Wow. There was a, a solid snake session going on in the bowl. That means everyone was hyped. There mm -hmm. were, everybody was dropping in on everybody. Mm. And, and she just got totally in with them all and, and pulled out one of the biggest tricks we saw. Mm. She was, we were listening to her practice in a... Mancunian accent earlier on as well. That was pretty funny. Sausage and mash, Lucy. <laughs> okay, here we go. 
Sky Brown dropping in for run number one. Eyes open, ladies and gentlemen, because this young lady knows how to rip transition. Again, straight like as with the Helena, straight in there. Look at that the confidence, Deacon. Smith. Frontside Smith slashing the five o. Big frontside air. Wicked. There's the hand plant. See, like no problem at all. Definitely used the big transition. Whoa! Oh, there's that frontside five. I still got, got away from She's her. got 15 seconds. I've got a, a lot of. Uh, I think we're going to see that. She slipped out on that one. And that was a trick that she did first try yesterday, right? That's true. And they're on lucky, on lucky. Oh my god! Look, she's shocked. Like, oh, I can't believe I didn't do that. That is the evolution of skateboarding right there in a nutshell. Oh. That was fantastic. Ah, oh, she's hyped still. She's happy. She'll beat herself up about that because she knows how easy she can do it. So that's the thing, you know. People take skateboarding seriously to a degree, but it's more. That she'll beat herself up about it because of her own enjoyment of it because she knows she should have done it. Yeah. But look at that. That front was a great side frontside air, yeah. I mean, I mean she's only little and that's what's maybe eight foot deep, that ball, you think, in the yeah, deep end? For sure. And there she's spinning and you can see there she just kinda over rotates at the bottom and her weight's a bit too far back. Mm -mm -mm. But that one's yeah. <sighs> just too much weight on the back leg, I think. Mind you, I'm saying that like I could try it. You I, know mean, what I mean, if I did that, both my legs would come off. I mean. <laughs> just, I'm just being honest. So yeah, we, we definitely interesting to see what score Sky gets there, mm. because there were a lot of tricks leading up to that frontside five. There was, and and that's the hardest trick we've seen so far mm -hmm. in this girl's final. So, I mean, is she going to get a lot of points for attempting it? Yeah. Who remains knows? to be seen. So, got a shakes there. Okay, we're just waiting for those scores to come in. Two nine nine on the first run. Yeah, I think that's well deserved. Absolutely, yeah. We, that's the first air we've seen in the bowl. Yeah, and it wasn't like a piddler, was it? It was way <laughs> out. It was like, yeah, you know two three two and a half foot above the coping absolutely that's just how much is a meter in feet i've forgotten a meter equals three foot three okay it's so it's just than less yard than a, you see oh nice it's just less than a meter over the coping one. thank you very much lucy so we're learning maths as well everybody mm -hmm. today maths is important in skateboarding it is especially for uh for the judges because they got to make decisions really quick yeah. and then add their scores up Okay, so we're going to come back to round number two for the female bowl event. So we're back to Rebecca Amy Davies. Back to all the Amys again. She had a strong first run. Yep. She, she, had the, she had a faultless run. So let's see what she's got. This There's an air. Yep. Front side air. So I think she's got hyped up by watching Sky. She knows she's got a solid run under her belt, so she can go for it a bit more for the second one. She's really carving it up. Mm -hmm. There's a rock fakie. Coming in switch. Oh, nice. Bit of a salva move there. The old hands down slide. Oh! oh trying to put it down. I think she's got one of them in the bag, though. I'm pretty sure I've seen her do that before. Yeah, I think. Right, so, Rebecca used to skate vert a lot. That's right, yeah. Unfortunately, there's not so many vert ramps around, so it's actually tough to skate that type of ramp these days. But this bow offers. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not quite vert, but it's big transition, so. Oh, yes, oh, Rebecca, that was fantastic. That, just... that counts for me. She rode out of, rode out of that. Enough. We call that a competition, mate. That's it. Oh, it's a kind of phrase used where I come from. She landed it black label. Her hands were down, but it's fine. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, I think the judges will take that as a make. Ah, oh, she's stoked. And rightly so. Another solid run from Rebecca. There's some of the replay. There's that oh, one. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, that'll do. Squatted it out. She managed to reach the other side of the transition. Yeah, I'm, so sh I'm sure the are. judges will award points for that. Let's see what she gets in comparison to Sky's score, which I guess is probably the highest one so far. 
she's buzzing though she's stoked she enjoyed that she got the crowd were really behind her as you say uh vertical training definitely is coming useful there because the ball look might look quite small to anyone watching if you don't skate but you stand in the middle of it or you're pumping on from the flat bottom it's big yeah unless you're eight foot tall and if you were we'd probably know about you could because you'd be a peculiar human it's big it is big yeah it's hard to you know you're able to do your tricks on something that's sort of five foot high and they're really easy for you, you take it to that and it, it is it is a push it is a bit more of a battle mm. there's more at stake you have to pump harder to get speed to get to the top if something goes wrong nobody wants to fall on the coping the coping in case you don't know i'm sure you do because skateboarding's everywhere now but the coping is the the metal pipe at the top of the ramp that you do grinds and whatnot on as in a coping stone i assume i don't know where that name came from might have just made that up okay we're just waiting on getting the scores back as you can see this this park offers a lot we've got the street course to the right hand side of the bowl that this competition is happening on currently we're going to be seeing the women and men skate that in a little bit there's Helena chilling with Amy. They're watching for the judges' scores, anticipating what's coming next. OK, I think we're going to go straight into Amy Brady's second run. Mm -hmm. Remember, she she really used uh, all the corners to get speed in her last run, but then, oh, she's gone oh. for the 50-50, faking yeah, the deep end. Yeah, that's what she was doing. That is, as they would say in Manchester, that's deep, which is uh, <laughs> colloquialism for it being good. But I guess you'll get that. Yeah, there's, there it is. So she managed to pull it out in the shallow. And there's a tailstall reaver. She's oh, she's making up for the last run here. There's the blunt again. Almost looked like she was going to go and like, air walk out of it there, but then decided against it at the last minute. This is a much stronger run yeah. from uh, Amy. Oh, 270 feeble stall. It's one for you, Andy Evans. Loves a feeble stall variation. Oh, fakey piv to fakey. Yes, this is really... It is good. If she could just get into the deep end. Yeah, that's that was fine. sick. That was a good run. Yeah, absolutely. Just acknowledging the crowd. They loved that. She's stoked. That's redemption for her because we all knew that she could land more than she did in the first one and there was the evidence of it. So I'm, I'm sure she'll get a much better score from the... Uh, from the judges from that one. Look at the trembling there. That's the <laughs> adrenaline coursing through. That is, her. yeah. And it's really physical, you know, like mm. pumping around that bow and, and backwards and forwards. It's, it's tough on the calves. Uh -huh. it's, it's, t it's tough on all of the body, the core. So anyone out there watching, perhaps thinking, oh, I might give this a go. It's probably cheaper than going to the gym. It's a lot more interesting. You pump around a bow like that for, I don't know, 45 seconds. That's There's a lot going on there. You're definitely... Uh, you're not chilling when you get out. <laughs> oh, no. textbook. She was real on top of that 50-50. Mm. It wasn't a wasn't a snide one. And that is hard. That's yeah, yeah. A, That's a Rye Gray special, the old fakey piff to fakey. Is it? Get it, Rye. Yeah, well done. That was a sick run, that, it's, Amy. We're going to see Amy again in the street this afternoon, so... Oh, there you go, look. Set run number two, two, two four, four six. six. That's a good score. If you judge it against the first one, which is less than 200, mm -hmm. where she, I guess she only really did two tricks, didn't she? Yeah. I should be stoked on that. Okay, next up, we got the third Amy. We got Amy Ram from London. Just about to drop in there on the left hand side. Mark Churchill's taking his orange beanie off so he can see his shiny head. Right. She had a good first run, mm. lots of tricks. Loads of lip tricks, as you said. Let's see what she's got this time. Straight in the deal. Oh, she went oh, for that switch car, but just lent too far. That's the trouble. The bowl can be a bit slippy. You've got to really be solid on your board. Mm. That's the, the double-edged sword. You don't pump enough, you're not going to get to the coping. and you pump too much, you're going to slip out like that. But she's still got that first run score, so she just needs to make up some tricks, maybe in this shallow end here. A couple of quick tricks. Yeah, as you said before, Lucy, sometimes it's easy to lose your rhythm. There's the 50-50 of Fakie. Yep, full cab rock. Oh, Smith's well to... Uh, Some of that coping dancing. Oh. oh, that's the one she missed last time. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I think that early fall really threw her off her stride there. Yeah. 
We got props from the other Amy though, from Amy to Amy. So there we are, there look is. at that. She just came in at the wrong angle for the hip, I think. Uh, yeah, if you're going backwards and that hip just springs up on you like that. Yeah. It's hard Good to job she had her keys in a safely secured position. But, I mean, she got a few tricks in towards the end. Yep. Well, that's a good trick. Did that one nice, too. It's just a shame on that back disaster. That's usually a fail-safe for, uh, for yeah. Amy. But Yeah, she usually just pings that round into onto the truck and, and rides it in easy. Oh, there it was. She tried to just put it over, but that wheel was not going over the coping. So one of the things about skateboarding, you can be the best skateboarder in the world, and the easiest thing can fail you. So, yeah, best score was for the first run, that 275. That make, that's no surprise, really. I think that's fair. Mm -hmm. It is, as I said, it, there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of skateboarding is mental. It's how you feel in that in-the-moment kind of thing because it's, you know, I've probably done 10,000 kickflips in my life, but if I'm not feeling good, I'm not going to be able to land it even though I know how to do it and there's the muscle memory. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next up we have Helena Long. Yes, let's see what Helena's got. She did a little bit of uh, slamming in the first one, but she was still <laughs> laughing about it, taking a breath. I think we're going to see that backsmith again. Yeah, there, there it is. is. It's beautiful. She's coming into the shallow. Helena always looks like she's enjoying herself, though, right? Even when it's going wrong, she's buzzing. Oh, yeah. She's just happy to be out there and be skating. She just wants to skate all the time. Oh, 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 oh. classic <laughs> Helena right there. Goes wrong, doesn't matter. Just turn it into a trick. In case you were wondering, she didn't intend to do that. That went totally wrong. There's Sweet a sweeper. Over the hip. She's nice. putting it together now, Ben. Yeah, look, you can see she's smiling. She kind of got used to the ball now. There's the one she fouled on earlier. It's coming together. There's the smith. Yeah, this is a much, much better run. And there's the blunt oh. back D that she was trying. She is that happy was wicked. about that. Yeah, she, she redeemed herself there in her own eyes. For herself. Yeah. Well, that's a high scoring run. We, yeah. I mean, the, I could hear the crowd there. They were smashing their boards. See, what we were saying about it's 45 seconds seems like not a long time, but she's she's out of breath there. That's a lot of... Uh, a lot of pumping to keep the keep your speed up to keep going. So easy to lose your momentum when you fall, but Helena got straight back in there, no problems. There's that one. <laughs> oh, she there, she went wrong on it. She thought I can turn this back in. Yeah. She's a coping dancer. <laughs> Amazing. That was a really entertaining and varied run. But as we said, Helena's a wild card. You never really know what she's gonna do until she starts doing it. In fact, oftentimes I'm not sure she knows exactly what she's gonna do. Absolutely. Uh, we'll see a lot more of that in the men's park as well. We've got some some of the men's skaters that they are asleep at the wheel and all of a sudden they're just throwing these massive airs. I mean, ball skating really brings out that spontaneity, mm -hmm. doesn't it, Lucy? 2.30, yeah, that's a good score. Absolutely. Yeah, she's, she's either stoked or she's got sweat in her eye, one of the two. Last rider. Uh, Let's hope we see that front side 540. I'm pretty sure we're going to do. Look at that focus there, Lucy. Yep, she's ready. Oh, really loose trucks I as well. Mean, That's always good to see. There it is. First trick. I mean, who drops into yeah. a 540? Well, I guess Sky Brown does. I mean, if that wasn't like, I'm going to show you what I can do. Yeah, then. that was a statement of intent. On kick, a kick flip, flip rock, rock. fakey. Oh, that is a rare one. Fakey flip to tail. I can't. In fact, so rare, I can't remember the last time I saw anyone do that. I have not seen anyone do that. Outside nose blonde, staying on. Contest make. Yeah, she's uh, she's having a good time, but she's definitely trying to get some different tricks in because she's got a big repertoire of tricks. There's, There's a, a Rob back Smith, backside nose blunt. nose blunt. Pull in. Blunt kick flip out. We oh, were going to see that. Let's see that. Oh, oh, last time. She wants one more try. She's going to give it to Definitely. us. Definitely. Let's give her the chance to see this blunt kick flip. Bosh. Oh, unlucky. Oh, God, that's crazy. That was a really, really good run. 
and the crowd's responding. They're hyped. They want it. Here we go. This is a 10-year-old oh, girl. Oh, my word. Doing a, a trick that... <sighs> yeah, I'm never doing that. Yeah. If you offer me a, a huge amount of cash to do that trick, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, that was a brilliant run. That's a real technical trick. See, that's the thing with Sky. She's got the the transition skills mm -hmm. to cope with the corners and go fast, but she can do a lot of very hard technical tricks as well. Absolutely. That's the thing in the bowl. You might see a, a really high scoring run and there's no flipping of the board whatsoever. But then there's the people that can flip their board and they are that is just big points. Mm. I mean, and even something like that just shows you how confident she is. Like... Most people would have just not even tried to land that. She's like, I probably can still do this. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I have seen her do that trick before, but I guess... Ben, she did that trick two years ago at a competition called NAS that's held oh. in Bath and West Showground and beat me. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> well, what, when she was eight? When she was eight. Well, I mean, look, 300, uh, 308, oh, that's that a great a, score. I mean... She's got to be happy with that. Ten years old. Crazy. There's so much to come. It's just so unbelievable, you know, for for the women and the girls scene and just for everybody that is into skateboarding. It's phenomenal. Mm. It's really an inspirational thing. I'm, I know a few people that have uh, skateboard shops and they've said they've had young women coming in and buying boards and specifically referencing Sky because she's been on yeah. the BBC a bit recently and there's been a bit of buzz about her after the Team GB announcement. That's it. I mean, she's a, you know, she's a viable role model for, for younger women to get into skateboarding. It's awesome. It's absolutely awesome because they're just, it's, it's a, she's given everybody something to look up to mm -mm -mm -mm. and believe it's absolutely possible yeah that's the thing isn't it i mean a lot of skateboarding is the belief that you can do something yeah. and once it seems possible it kind of is possible well until you get to like a decrepit age like me where it might seem possible but it's definitely not possible the body says it's not possible yeah that's it the mind says no the body says no so that's uh helena long chatting there probably uh saying something amusing she usually does as I said, she is a talented musician as well. She's got two separate lives going on that uh, complement each other. Yeah, this guy's happy there. I mean, and who wouldn't be? I'd be happy with that run. Yeah, I would, I'd be stoked. And, uh, and they all will be, you know. They're, they're all friends. They all they're, they're all support each other. And that's the beauty of skateboarding, really. I mean, you can speak probably better on this than me, Lucy, but I guess because historically the ranks of the female skate community were kind of smaller until recently everyone is friends with everybody else everyone does know like especially in the contest circuit that's you... right yeah we we go about we see we see each other at different events in different international you know, different countries and it's it's just so cool to see see each other and skate with the with the people that you want to try and be like and mm -hmm. it's amazing and you know as we were saying before it's really important that there's a focus on somebody of sky's age because you know, skateboarding needs it needs new generations all the time. You know, yeah. the more young kids we have, the more facilities open, the more the infrastructure strengthened. Well, actually, we've got a couple of young girls as well that are looked up to Sky, and and they are progressing like the likes of Lola Tambling. Mm -hmm. She went out to Vertitat this weekend, actually, in Sweden, mm. and took part in that competition, which is why we're not seeing her here today. And uh, she actually made it to the final of that event. Oh, amazing! So, yeah, I mean, it's it's and great. Well, to she's see. like nine, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think she? she's ten or eleven in that. Yeah. yeah I mean, so it was a rare thing in my day, you know, when I was when I was young, which is longer ago than I care to remember. The, there were very few female skateboarders. It just wasn't something that. I don't know why, whether, I mean, I'm sure there's a multitude of reasons, but it's fantastic to see that it's finally, it's almost come full circle because in the 70s, the original era of skateboard, and there was no gender division. Everyone did it, women did it, men did it. And uh, as we say, you know, people with the skill level and the and the attitude, really, and the just general niceness of Sky, it can only help to introduce more young women into skateboarding. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to just allow them to see 
Well, then we got the results. So we got Sky Brown qualifying in first. Taking first. Taking first, rather. Amy Ram in second. Rebecca Davis third. Amy Brady fourth. And Helena Long in fifth. Not much space between the bottom three, though. It's only really Sky's. It's very close. But, yeah. yeah, so Sky Brown is the UK champion. Fantastic. In and the women's part. Well deserved. I mean, everything we were just saying, that just cements it, doesn't it? By yeah. winning the... The women's part division of, at the uh, the UK champs.